it's no surprise. Yamaha's built a new mid-sized snowmobile. With the rebirth of the snow scoot, it wouldn't be right for us, and by us I mean full-size adults, to do the test ride. So we enlisted the help of a mid-sized professional, and we asked her what she thought. Well, it goes really fast, and the engine, it has nine horsepower, and like, I love the color, and it's, and it's the perfect size for me. With very little in this category, it's pretty obvious just how excited mid-sized sledders are to get a vehicle that fits their needs and their capabilities and gets them away from two-up riding. I, I'd be able to ride, and usually I'm sort of bored when I'm with my dad, but now I'm not when I ride this. While the snow scoot's horsepower numbers seem pretty small, it's actually quite capable and keeps up with mom and dad with ease. And when it comes to the handling, well, I'll let Natalie tell you about that. Riding the snow scoot is even easier than riding my TTM. I feel really comfortable. Natalie is a very nice young lady, so we ask what the level of sharing would be should her friends show up and ask her for a ride. They would be like, can I ride it? And I'm like, nope, it's my ride. With 4.5 inches of suspension travel up front thanks to a double A-arm setup, as well as 4.5 inches in the rear, the Scoot is very capable and it delivers all of this through the use of hydraulic shocks all the way around. When I'm riding through the bumps, it's really smooth. One of the biggest areas of complaint when it comes to little folks is cold digits. When their hands get cold, they're not having any fun. And the Snow Scoot comes with one serious set of hot grips. I can sort of ride on my own because when I'm with my dad, as I said earlier, it's really g boring. So if I ride this, I'll be more happy and excited when we go snowmobiling. The fact that the all-new snow scoot is completely legal and able to be ridden on the trails gives parents a whole new option for taking little ones along for the ride. In the past, it was a 120cc sled that would keep your kids busy in the backyard but it stayed there. Now the snow scoot can bridge the gap for kids who are way too big for a 120, but not big enough for a fan-cooled or older sled like a Bravo. The snow scoot allows parents to buy one sled that'll take kids safely through the transitionary years and allows them to get out on the trail and ride with mom and dad on their own. And when you link the 200cc Yamaha engine with a 2.1 gallon fuel tank and a one inch Camso Cobra track, the snow scoot will go the distance with ease. With Natalie being a first-time snow scoot rider, we wondered just how much she might like the snow scoot. Did she think it was hard to handle, or was this the perfect fit and the perfect sled? We asked her for a rating from 1 to 10 to keep it simple. At a 1 in 10, I'd say 10. It was super califragilisticexpialidocious. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, like it, and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.